Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 113 of my Ocean Block Let's Play. <laughs> and today, I got it fixed. That draconic gadget working. So let's go look. <clears throat> um, here we go. Um, what I had to do was, I'm assuming <laughs> that um, the way it was working wasn't getting the pulse to insert the next set. Um, so um, my only, the only thing I could come up with that might be occurring was that the importer was taking it out so fast that it wasn't registering that uh, it had finished. It wasn't emitting this the signal of 15 to um, trigger the next one. Uh, so that's why it was working sometimes, um, but not all the time. So I made it have to have a redstone signal to work and then just connected it up because I tried it with Xnet um, and the Xnet won't connect to the importer like it won't connect to the crafter. So I just figured I would do the red alloy wire directly um, as its own system. Uh, so when it emits a signal of 15, it allows the item to be taken out and triggers the next operation. So it works like a charm now. Uh, I have lots of cores. I've been practicing, practicing my cores. Oh no, did it hang up again? It can't have. It must have been hung up from before. Cancel. Question mark. It it worked right when I was standing right here. Oh, cool. <laughs> I have no idea what if it doesn't work after this point um, yeah but it should be uh, it should be mostly reliable now um, mostly so <laughs> there we go I oh, can put all these to try doing the pulse warmer into um, the crafter uh, but ultimately I just did the red alloy wire because this wouldn't work either uh, but like I said it's I thought it was the um, the importer is too fast importing too fast okay so we're on a quest to get a tier 4 power pot but um, uh, how many, how many core crystal shards do we have? We only have four left, and I want to make sure that my breastplate and my bow gets upgraded, uh, to draconic, 
in this set, so it should make it easier to kill any more dragons if I need to, because that fight was horrible. That was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst thing that ever could have happened. Um. So our system knows how to make those. I want to make a power pot. There we go. I want to make this one. Is that draconium block? Um. Yeah, I want to teach this to that, just because. Uh, I don't know how many of these I'll actually make, but we use the shards in order to upgrade our injecting injectors in uh, the draconic multi-block structure, so uh, we can actually make this, so why not? Um, let's just... oh. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be up here. Um, put you there. And it already knows how to make this. And it already has one of those. I wonder if it's going to see it or not. I guess we'll find out. Okay, um, we've got to put this guy in here, but we also have to tell it to uh, accept the Power Pop Mark Three over here on our filter. Got a boop. Um, why didn't you? Go, uh, channel green, save. Awesome. Okay, so it should work. It should work. Uh, let's ask for a pot. I want to see it go. Um, oh, I guess I gotta put that in there. It's missing two, oh, I have to teach it draconian blocks, that's right, because I don't have them in compacting drawers anymore. Oopsie, going the wrong way. So, I can teach it this guy in here. Boop. I want to see it. Okay, now let's do it. Pot, craft, start, go. Oh yeah. Um, there it go. Oh, it's taking a long time. Look at that. are pretty pretty power <laughs> intense yeah only 768 million uh, I forgot what that stands for OP um, operational potential I think Trying to think 
what I want. I know the two resources I need most of all are Inferium and Redstone. Um, so. It's almost done. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Um, I think that's probably because. What's that? <laughs> nice. Okay. Hot. Awesome. Tier 4 power pump. <laughs> chaotic one last time. An energizing rod. And we did the miscellaneous remote storage module. Um So you could kind of get wireless. I would probably still be using that if it wasn't so laggy. Because uh, that was pretty cool. Um, Alright. So we need to teach one more at least. Um, oops. So we need to teach it the tier 3. Um, a lock of mana diamonds. Ooh. Oof, oof, mana diamonds. I only have 30 mana diamonds. should be enough. Uh, I may need to teach it uh, the diamond block. I mean a diamond block. Okay, so uh, let's see. I think I need to teach it the man a diamond block. Hot. Boop. And a boop. Yeah, it's missing that. So let's take care Just maybe 
if I just put a button on there or something. Uh, maybe that would work. Can I put a button on you? Okay. than the last one. I just want to make sure it starts the next phase. Yeah. <clears throat> and if it doesn't, we can just go down and hit the button and it should restore equilibrium to the space-time continuum. <laughs> oh boy, it's almost there. Boy, I sure would <clears throat> like to... Oh, there we go. the signal that unlocked it. Okay, so it is making it. So let's go. Um, I guess there is room down here on level four. It's kind of noisy, but um, I never set up the uh, hydroponics, so because uh, it crashed. All right, um, where was I? Level four. Ooh. Okay, we got the signal. Um, I don't wonder. I have an importer. Let's see. Um, importer. Do I 
like actually need a chest or will it go right into an import? Will it detect that as an inventory? Not sure. Um, not 100% certain of that. Um, there we go. We got power pot. Um, okay, we just need to get some cables. Boop, boop, boop. Um, we also need to supply it power. So we're going to need a point. There's a flux point. Let's put you over here. And put you on the reactor. Because we're going to need a lot of power. Um, now this, how much does this take? Um, it should say 350,000 a tick. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, disable limit. Transfer limit 800,000. No. We shouldn't need more than that, right? I think that should be fine. We'll see how much it starts pulling. Um, or, you know what I could do instead of an importer? I could do an interface. I have tons of those. Because um, that's for sure counted as an inventory, right? should automatically get put into the system. Uh, we may need to put upgrades in there, but now I want a farmland. Um, oh, we have an Insanium farmland? Heck yeah, I want that. Um, a boot? And let's get the redstone going on there. Oh, look at it going already. How much is it pulling? 350,000 exactly. Oh wow. So how long does it take? 14 seconds to produce a whole stack. Wow. <laughs> uh, so I guess we could do, it looks like it's, it's working. Oh look, it's got so much essence. We definitely need to put at least a stack upgrade in there. We have some too, great. And put a stack upgrade. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's all it needed was a stack upgrade. Oh, that's super cool. Tier 4 power pod. Um, so we can do the same thing over here. Just go ahead and get an interface. And uh, is our, I bet our pot is ready by now. This will pull 700,000 out, but we're only getting uh, 
seven, like 800,000 tick. Oh, look at how fast it's going. Four seconds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hopefully makes this lots of insanium. I mean, it's a premium. We're gonna need lots of insanium too. Um, I'm wondering why don't oh I already own that trinket I was like why don't I have that uh, but I do have that um, we may need to uh, get more power <laughs> we need to get more power not may need to we definitely need to get more power um, so is it I don't know um, but we're we're still getting a, like a net gain but uh, sometimes my reactor isn't running um, like uh, because it's not set up to run because uh, I can't produce my fissile fuel as fast as the reactor can burn it how are you doing you full body what about you no Awesome, we got power drainers again. Um. <laughs> Hungry power bots. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we should still be getting. Yeah, we're inputting 850 and outputting 700 ish. There are some little things I have put on here too. Uh, I was hoping putting it up directly would work. Um, my, I just don't think I could increase my production unless I made a whole new system. going as fast as it can. I uh, like I got all the upgrades and stuff on it. So I don't know maybe I might want to how much uranium do we have? We still got like 12,000. direction even though they're running uh, hey we already got two supreme essence Huzzah. <laughs> um, yeah we're gonna need a lot more than that oh man I just uh, I want to maybe start looking at the mycelium generators. Mycelium reactor. Um, let's look at this because. I think there's a book 
on this. Right now, the left click clears it, right click. Industrial foregoing. Um, miscellaneous research production. Tools, these links. There we go. Mycelial reactor. Using the mycelial network, a subspace domain containing a living vegetative mass of fungus called the mycelium, this reactor can detect the other mycelial generators and generate massive amounts of FE. For this to happen, once instance of each generator needs to be working at the same time. Maybe new technologies can be discovered in the future using this network. Okay. Yeah, need my serial generator. Can't click on either one of those. Just <laughs> okay, that's all we get. Um, that's all we get. Metallurgic, crimed, rocket, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and a mycelial reactor. So I guess you have to have all 16 of these. I mean, it doesn't say anything like, <laughs> do they have to be in a certain uh, space of each other, um, configured in a certain manner, or is it just, uh, it just works? I don't know, but, I do know uh, that we probably have a lot of these already from quest rewards. I see, no, not in. M. Yeah, we got like a slimy pink, a frosty, explosive. Ender a crimed. That's six of the sixteen. Um, let's see, slimy. Let's go ahead and bookmark all of these. Um, I think. Why some of these didn't work like this slimy one? It needs milk. <laughs> um, I guess that would kind of make sense, but I don't know. Um, does it say anything about? Having in-game document. 
documentation. I don't like having to go to an external website to look things up. It kind of breaks the immersiveness of the whole feeling of it, but I mean, I can do it, but still, I don't like it. I um, guess uh, I can't do that on camera. <laughs> um, I mean, I could, but yeah. So, let's see. Slimy. Let's go ahead and get slimy off of there. Pink. 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 Um, frosty. You look frosty. Uh, explosive. Okay. I've kind of color coded. Ender mycelial generator. You and a primed mycelial generator. Um, just kind of. You. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, and a mycelial reactor. And what kind of crazy stuff does this stuff take? Um, liquid meat bucket? Okay. Um, not too bad. These are oh, these are advanced machine frames. But we got that automated now. Oh, supreme machine frame. Oh no, we gotta run another star mycelium generator. But that's okay. Um, I think we've been stocking up on nether stars for a while. We have nine thousand. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> what? Um, that's a star. Magma. Okay. Alitosis. Okay. Um, disenchantment. A potion. We'll have to like automate potions for this. Culinary YC wheel generator. crazy. Okay. I will work on getting these made and figuring them out um, so that we can start getting this because um, I need more power. That reactor was um, definitely an upgrade, but it's not enough for the hungry power pots. They want more. Um, all right, so uh, we got our power pots going. Um, we're working towards another goal. Um, I'll also try to work on upgrading my chest piece and my bow um, and getting more doodads in there, making them even better. So, if you know anything about these mycelial generators, <laughs> leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, love to hear from you. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!